the real time real estate segment today being brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Visit rsrhomescout.com, rsrhomescout.com. Getting your house ready to sell, work with an agent for expert advice. In a market that's shifting as, as fast as it is today, many homeowners wonder what, if anything, needs to be renovated before they sell their house. That's where a trusted real estate professional comes in. They can help you think through today's market conditions and how they impact what you should and should not do before selling your house. Here are some conditions a professional will guide you through. What you need to know about your local market since the supply of homes for sale has increased so much this year. That's a supply of all types of homes. That would be single family, condo, multi-unit, because we know that single families are, are still dramatically low. Since the supply of homes for sale has increased so much this year, today's buyers have more options than they had last year. That may mean you're not able to ignore some of those repairs or cosmetic updates you could have skipped in previous months. As a recent article from Realtor.com says, quote, to stand out in the market, sellers should make their home attractive to buyers, which usually means some selective updates, unquote. The key word here is selective. Since it's still a seller's market focusing on a few key areas, maybe enough to make your house stand out from other options. And since inventory is still low overall, it's also possible buyers may be willing to handle the renovations themselves once they move in. It all depends on buyer demand and the available inventory in your area. For advice on what's happening in your market and what to do to make your house show well, lean on a professional. Not all renovation projects are equal. In addition to making sure your house makes a good first impression, you'll also want to consider the return on your investment for any renovations. According to the 2022 Remodeling Impact Report from the National Association of Realtors, NAR, here are the projects that could net you the best return when you sell your house. And if you're watching us on ronsegalradio.tv, any of our socials, or the ABC News and Talk AM 1490 video feed, you're going to see a screenshot right now where you may recover the most on remodeling. Percentage of cost recouped for common projects. Vinyl siding. That's an exciting one. 82%. Garage door, 100%. Roofing, 100%. Upgrading insulation. Well, that's another exciting one. 100%. New wood flooring, 118%. Refinishing hardwoods, 147%. Again, your real estate advisor is your best resource. When your agent comes to your house for a walkthrough and consultation, they'll use their expertise to offer any insight into what you may need to repair, replace, or refinish. They also know what other sellers are doing before listing their homes and how buyers are reacting to those upgrades to help steer you in the right direction. As Dr. Jessica Lotz, Vice President of Demographics and Behavior Insights for NAR explains, quote, this year the winner was hardwood flooring. Hardwood flooring, refinishing and putting in new wood flooring had the most significant value. How to draw buyer attention to the upgrades you've made. For any projects you've already completed or for those you plan to do before listing, make sure your real estate professional knows. They're not just an advisor to help you decide where to focus your efforts. They're also skilled at highlighting any upgrades in your listing. That way, potential buyers know about the features that may help sell them on the house. No matter what, contact a local real estate professional for expert advice on what work needs to be done and how to make it as appealing as possible to future buyers. Every home is different, so a conversation with your agent is mission critical to make sure you make the right moves when selling this season. Mary, have you seen that where the... Refinishing hardwoods is, is that much of a, a benefit? Um, personally, in my experience, I mean, I haven't done any of that. So you haven't done it yourself? No. Now, the question I'm going to throw at you, it's a toughie here. Okay. You've got a bunch of agents that you work with. Mm -hmm. Do they have the ability of helping financially with getting some of these things done in the house? Absolutely. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah. So there, um, we have partners who they will actually front the money for you. So you, they will front the money. They will come in, evaluate what needs to be done. They'll front the money. And then from the close, they'll get paid back. And it doesn't cost anything extra. Nothing. Nothing. So, so it doesn't cost the seller anything to go in and get that work done to see if they can improve the value of their home and get more for their home than they would have. So think about that. And I have no idea of what putting in refinishing hardwoods or what new flooring costs. I, 
I know it can be a wide spectrum. Mm -hmm. If you can add 150%. Oh, yeah. Right? That's a massive amount. That's no a massive greater. benefit, especially if you don't have to lay out the money to do it. Mm -hmm. So if you have those questions, give us a call, 800-306-1990. I'll put you in touch with Mary. And as always, I ask, if you have any friends, family, or coworkers looking to buy, sell, or borrow on real estate, give them my number, 800-306-1990.